What is going on guys? I am back for another video and probably for the first time since Drum talked me into starting this clan, I am happy. I am very, very happy because this war went so well. And I want to talk about a couple things with this war and then I'm going to show you guys something cool for Town Hall 11 attacks and then this video will be over. But this is my opinion on how war should go right we have been sitting at 30 stars which is max stars since like i don't know for hours half a day there was 20 plus hours left in this war and we had all the stuff done now that's easier to do in a 10 man war which we got a lot of people opted out and a lot of people who haven't been uh tuning in so i i just took the people that i thought i could rely on and and that shows shows up here um so you can see if we go to our our team, I think we had all three star attacks. Uh, Ronan with uh, that guy attempted to attack someone pretty high. I don't know if he was messing around or whatnot, but I don't think he really cared about that attack. Every other attack was a three star. Ronan has a saying that I, I technically agree with, although it's impractical. He said in ideally everyone would just need to use one attack in a war, meaning that if everyone just attacked their mirror and three starred it, then the war would be over. This is a close second. Um, we were able to do this even though we had one Town Hall 11 with uh, me, with Ridiculous, and they had two because of me having two attacks. I could wipe both those out, and then Missile took care of the their two Town Hall 9s, and then from there it's just a, a train wreck for them. Really, really good war. But I want to focus on what you guys know I get ornery and cranky because people don't attack the right bases and stuff like that. And I want to show you why. So this other clan, I don't think is very bad. Uh, uh, their war history and stuff would indicate that they're pretty solid. And they have two Town Hall 11s. And our top base is my Town Hall 11, which really, if we look at it, it's, it's um, a step up from a Town Hall 10, but that's about it. So if you go look at my base, <clears throat> I do have an Eagle Artillery. Uh, and I do have all of the new um, uh, uh, structures that you get with Town Hall 11. But, I mean, like I've got, what is this, a level 1 wizard tower. No, nothing's really upgraded. I, I think I'm in the middle of upgrading Inferno Towers. You can see my expos are really low. Well, that one is. That's a new one. Uh, expos are still at Town Hall 10 level. I have been focusing mostly on my attack, so my... I've been upgrading my Archer Queen and my uh, Grand Warden and my army camps so now I can get max troops and, and all of that. But that is to say that this is barely a Town Hall 11. So they have essentially two chances to three-star it. And you can see their number one guy got a 94% two-star. Uh, very, very close to three-starring. I would tell you if he had even like level 30 um archer queen he probably three stars my base uh, again the space isn't very good um and i would argue that with the benefit of seeing how he attacked it anyone else could take some lessons from that and maybe do a better attack but that's not what they did so if you look at them they're number two who is their other town hall 11 and the only person in their the only other person on their team that has a chance to three star my base he went ahead and attacked three and four. So he attacked our Town Hall nine and our uh, a Town Hall eight, um, which for me is pretty absurd uh, to do that before he knows that our top base is gone. So if you look in their order of events, their number two took out Gamji, me, and Tiki, or Tika, uh, he took them out before their number one even tried my base, my ridiculous base. Had he held on to his attacks, then perhaps he could have, then with the benefit of hindsight and seeing how his how his teammate attacked my base, he maybe could have made some improvements on that and then three-starred my base, and then they could tie this war. So this is a perfect example of why Sometimes I'm asking you guys to hold attacks and sometimes I get ornery when people are attacking bases before they should and and things like that. Uh, especially for their Town Hall 11 to secure the three stars on a Town Hall 8. Any Town Hall 8 should be able to three star another Town Hall 8 100% of the time. There will be mistakes made 
and and you won't three star them 100 percent of the time but it should be very very easy for a town hall eight to three star another town hall eight so this is a prime example of why i get ornery with you guys when you don't attack the bases that i want you to attack but not this war this war we've got 100 percent of the damage 30 stars and credit to them i didn't even know if they were going to attack i do like in situations like this to come out and try to like shell shock the other guys and perhaps nerves did play a part in the their number one not being able to three star me but is what it is this war is won. this war was won or at a minimum tied with 20 some hours to go in the war makes my life super easy and super less stressful so everyone participating in this war thank you thank you thank you uh we were able to clean it up really really fast and really really easy missile getting his two attacks in really quickly big taking out their top town hall eight really really quickly just super easy war really really appreciated but now let's go look at um the attacks that i did on their one and two and the reason why i'm showing you this is because i think there's a big learning curve there's a big learning curve to learn how to three star a town hall 10 base um and then I think there's another big learning curve going from Town Hall 10 to Town Hall 11. Um, and it, it becomes progressively more difficult. Uh, I'm going to show you guys this attack. And really, Ronan is the one who deserves credit for this. He showed me this army. He showed me this attack strategy. He does it a lot better than I do. But I'm going to show it to you. And as it's going, I'm going to tell you what the keys are. So this is a, a, a bow witch. Um, and... I think Ronan uses slightly different troops than I do. You can compare notes. Uh, I did bring three free spells. That's because I knew there was nothing in the clan castle. If there was troops in the clan castle, um, I would have brought two um, freezes and a and a poison. The having the three heal or the three freezes makes this even easier. You'll see how many troops I have left. Um, this base is it's it's stronger than mine. Um, but it's still kind of a mediocre Town Hall 11. It's also, we benefit from the fact that the heroes are way behind. Level 17, Archer Queen, and I think the, where's the Barbarian King? He's even let 13. So that helps. Um, but it's still a, a pretty solid base. It's definitely a significant upgrade over a Town Hall 10. All of the uh, Expos are upgraded. Um, you know, so it's, it's significantly better. But it's, it's still not like a max Town Hall 11. But I have seen Ronan run this on Town Hall 11s. We all saw him take out a Town Hall 12 uh, with, with this. But essentially what we're doing here is we've got three golems. We've got one in our siege machine. And we're using the log roller. Um, and, and the goal is to kind of keep those golems healthy and in front of everything else. And then pour on witches and bowlers and and let them just tear the base apart. And really, I mean, that's kind of it. Uh, it frees, frees the Eagle Artillery and um, Inferno Towers when they're starting to do damage. Uh, use a jump spell on the backside to help your troops continue on through the base. Um, I tend to send my king and queen around the edges to kind of help funnel the rest of the troops through the middle and then I send my Grand Warden through the middle with the rest of those troops I think Ronan does it slightly differently his way is probably better um, but I didn't even lay this down very well I did it better the previous war there was two attacks in the previous war that I did and got three stars I did a little better there um, but this wasn't even laid down very well and it just demolishes everything. So we're going we're gonna to play it through at four times speed. And then I'm going to tell you the real key to this. The real key to this, this attack strategy, is not how you lay it down, it, although that helps. You can see I'm trying to heal and keep, keep, hold on, let me pause it here. Um, this golem, can I even click on him? Back here, kind of by my Grand Warden, right here. Um, he is no longer out in front. That stresses me out but i was trying to keep him healed there's another one here i think this is the one from maybe i don't know where he's from uh just trying to keep these guys healthy so all everything kind of focuses them freezing the middle of the base the key here is max troops i don't know how else to say it i i ronan showed me this when i was first town hall 11 i've run it 
a, a million times. I three starred very, very rarely. Then I got max troops. I used potions to boost for the last two wars. Easy, easy three stars. So we'll just let this run on out. Um, and you can see, we'll slow it down here as we get to the end. Look, I mean, look how many troops I have left. So I've got s several witches, several witches, a bowler, tons of skeletons, some bowlers over here. I still have, um, look, I, I mean, I still have golems. I mean, I got uh, my hero. I, I mean, I just demolished it. And I think it all took about 90 seconds. Super, super powerful attack. Check it out. Bow witch. Max out your uh, your troops, your bowlers, your witches, your golems, um, and your, your wall breakers, too, because sometimes it's hard for them to get through walls. Um, max those suckers out. Run this attack. You're going to do great. Hopefully, next war will be just like this one. Uh, we'll get to knock them down early and relax the rest of the time. Also, clan uh, raid weekend, um, clan capital, whatever it's called, raid weekend. Make sure you do your attacks. Get some of that... Uh, some of that clan capital metal gold stuff so you can uh, reinforce your troops and we will see you in the next war soon.